Yeah, we'll call that a success. Hi guys, we're trying out the Guinness World Records rubber band planes. We've done version 3 and we've done version 1. So now we're going to have a go with version 2. When I say versions, when we look at the instructions, the wings have got numbers on them. So these are wings number three. That's wing number one. And the one that I haven't tried yet is wing number two and tail number two. Now I've used the long body. It worked with the wings number three, but it was hopeless with wing number one. Uh, so I've switched to the short body and I needed lots of nose weight when I used wings number one. And I'll now put wing number two, tail number two, on the short body and see what happens. So that's wing number two. Tail number two. I need the fin. Slots in there. Okay, so we've changed over to wing to tail to short body. Let's just give it a test glide with all that weight on it. Right, well the test glide looked okay, possibly a bit nose heavy, but we'll see. The glide looks okay. I'm doing quite a bit of bending up at the back here to try and reduce the climb. A bit of down elevator. It's still climbing. A 
I'll say, I'm getting a good glide from it with all these trim bits I put on it. The only thing I can imagine is possibly the propeller has given a bit of up thrust. On the other fuselage, it was actually bending under the stress of the rubber band and it was giving significant down thrust. And it's also making the tail uh, give us down elevator. Whereas this short fuselage seems to be giving us the opposite. Well, we got the distance. Right, significant amount of down elevator, lots of weight. Stand back here so the camera's not looking straight at the sun. Yeah, we'll call that a success. So, there we go, that's wing number two, tail number two, short fuselage, small propeller, lots of nose weight, and we got across the garden. Quite a lot of bending there, on the back, and also down elevator on the tail. But we did it.